getting back here in the house. What? Wait a minute. Wait, who are? Who is that? Oh, oh shoot! Chris, what are you doing? Freeze. You're in my new house. Oh shoot! He's climbing out the window. Uh, He's taking all my movies. Uh, what you, he picked Dragon Ball Z and Toy Story and Avengers. <laughs> Just on game. What are you actually doing in my house? Uh... Well, my channel's not doing so well since I've been gone, uh -huh. and I thought I'd just take your channel over, but I need your collection first. Oh, and my new house? Yeah, I heard you got a new house, so I had to see it for myself. Well, you you broke into my house, and I guess you're stealing my stuff. I, you want to do a segment? Yeah, let's uh, let's talk about some Criterions for a sec. I'm a sad boy, so I need some Criterions to pick me up. All right, uh, let's, let's do something new. Let's figure something out new. We can do that. Um... I'm in a hurry. Obviously, I was trying to make a robbery, so I'm not here for a long time. Clearly. Uh, why don't we do like a, like a quick drive-through uh, Criterion Closet pickup? Yeah, I like that idea. I haven't actually been on this channel for a Criterion pick since... Have her? Or no, I've been uh, here once. Yeah, you've been here once. Been here for once. that. Yeah. Well, anyway, all right, let's start that out right here. We're going to go sit down and we're going to go pick some movies. Let's go pick one out. You bought The Passion of Christ. I did. I was with you. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you actually bought it, though. Yeah, I was with you. We did a video. I was drunk. He was drunk. All right, so we're doing a Criterion drive through And so that means, what are the ground rules for this? It's got to be quick. It's got to be, be to the point. You got to explain why you picked it. Um, and tell me, tell the crowd uh, a little bit about it, you know. I don't know. Without really giving too much away. Yeah. Hey, it's just like it's like a double feature kind of idea that Chris and I were thinking about uh, today. And I think we're just going to be really quick about it, really brief. And just it's kind of like a supplement to the Criterion Selection series. Uh, this is going to be like a Criterion drive through It's like if you have a good weekend, you want a double feature, some thematic uh, connections. Here. Yeah, I usually talk a lot. So this is a good one for us to get short and to the point so you can watch your movies. Yeah, so let's actually start off with yours because we're going to do this chronologically, actually. These are both two French <laughs> movies. Um, yeah. Well, one is made by a Danish director, but it's a French right. movie regardless. So, what's your first pick, buddy? Well, I recently just saw it because of the launch of the Criterion channel uh, from my buddy Daniel. So, I, I sat one, one morning when I woke up and I picked. I started watching 1928's uh, Carl Theodore Dreyer's The Passion of Joan of Arc. Uh, never saw this movie before. I just hear it's a cinematic masterpiece, especially since it came out at the very beginning of most cinema. Yeah, 1928. 28. Yeah, yeah 28. 1928. Yeah. So, The Passion of Joan of Arc... Uh, if you don't know the story, Joan of Arc is just uh, a, a woman who was told by God to do to help France in its uh, war against England. Mm -hmm. But uh, this movie takes place uh, during her trial. Yeah, it's the very end of her life. Yeah, and it, it really shows uh, the passion. This the passion of Joan of Arc, the passion of like this woman and her faith and her beliefs being challenged by uh, the authority and the theocracy of the time. Uh, the movie is silent and it has title cards. But what I really love about it is this: the cinematography of this movie is oh, ahead of its yeah. time. It's a—it's almost scary how amazing uh, Dreyer directed this movie. The shots he made uh, it was like way ahead of its time. Oh yeah. And and he also directed Vampire as well. Vampire. Vampire. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah, you know. I don't know what movies. We don't have to say stuff. <laughs> but. Uh, uh, no, but this movie is is phenomenal. You can watch it three different ways. You can watch it silent, completely silent, with no noise. Yeah. You can watch it with uh, a yeah. piano playing, or mm -hmm. you can play, watch it the way I did on the channel, was with like a like a like a Gregorian chantish mm -hmm. orchestra, which was very dynamic. Like you were so engaged watching the movie, and um, it's just really disturbing, especially near the end. Kind of like a realistic take of like what this person's life meant to a lot of people it's a, yeah it's a very an emotional movie and i i yeah. it just like you can just tell based on like the cover alone of it like just that still image of, it's just there's a lot of close-ups and a lot of, a lot of close-up shots and like yeah. chris was saying it's it's pretty ahead of its time so yeah two things to take away out of this movie the the cinematography photography and the acting by renee falc falcatini i believe is how you say her name it's like it's it's probably one of the best on-screen performances you'll ever see in your life, and I'm not even boosting that. It's right phenomenal, now. yeah. She is incredible. So that's a good fit, uh, pick right there Taking from 1928. Oh, he's, he's leaving already. <laughs> uh, here's another French movie, La Haine, uh, which uh, translates to hate, uh, the hate, and this is a 1995 movie. This is like a pretty like new age French movie. This came out. It's a black and white film as well. It came out uh, kind of near that time period where like. Youth Rebellion was like really big in the 90s yep. 
and stuff and so it has like a documentary feel to it mm -hmm. uh, but it's actually these three these three guys and they're all you know, different backgrounds one uh, is white one's black and one is arab and so all of these guys are just friends uh, one of them is a boxer uh, who just is trying to stay out of trouble the other one is kind of just a rebel rouser all the time the other one is just uh there you know kind of hanging out with these guys and he's kind of like the middleman between these these two these two friends but they're all friends and they're just going around doing gang stuff so when i say that i mean like think city of god um just think of the just urban places where honestly all you really can do uh is get ahead through doing violent and criminal actions and so that's kind of what it's showing and it's just showing you um obviously hate mm -hmm. uh of like the French police and of society and like the, this power structure and it's really really cool uh, really dark movie as well uh, these are both dark movies that we picked here they're, um, they're black and white they're black that's why they're dark <laughs> uh, but anyway the, this the, I think this is a good double feature um, just in general it's a good drive through you get a little bit of uh, history of French cinema a little bit I think from like the early early stages obviously these aren't exact like this isn't renoir yeah to like godard or anything but no. these are just like experimental i think films that are very vastly different in the way they're shot like i said this is like a documentary but it's 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 filmed like an actual you know movie as well yeah. like a drama interesting I, I studied uh at the last semester of college i i studied a little bit of french history from mm -hmm. like uh uh, a cultural standpoint i was writing a, a, a paper on it and uh waited last minute to write it obviously but uh because french culture just fascinates me but that really interests me because you think about that time with the world cup when france finally won and you think about uh the end of colonization with africa mm -hmm. and uh algeria and there was from the 90s all the way through the middle of the 2000s and even kind of today the french identity is under a crisis and that movie probably really highlights it well yeah so i'm very interested in watching that but I think this is a good double feature, and I think it's a good stopping point. Um, so thanks for coming and trying to rob me, Chris. Not done yet. Still, He's still not done. See ya. Oh, there he goes. Uh, like, comment, share down below, subscribe. I gotta go stop him, so goodbye. I'm not joking around.